Namaste yogis and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a quick 20 minute morning yin yoga class and I am joined by my beautiful wife Jody right here. I'm doing a voiceover because the microphone didn't work during the class. So please just follow my command and we'll get into this together. So as you can see you'll need a bolster for today's class and two blocks and we're going to get right into it right now so we're going to turn facing the front of our mat and we're going to bring the bolster at our backs there so that when we're going to be going down it kind of lands in the middle of our backs we're going to place two blocks on the sides of our knees and we're going to do into a reclined butterfly here so bring the sole of your feet together and keeping about a one foot distance between your groin and your feet just going to be lowering ourselves down here on the bolster and allowing our knees to fall on each side and connect with the block as gravity pulls them down. So the bolster today is just to offer that thoracic spinal stretch. So going a little deeper into the thoracic spine today and releasing that area in the morning. It actually feels wonderful. So let's just reconnect with our breath here, taking some deep inhales through the nose, deep exhales through the nose, and enjoying how that feels. So slowly coming out of this position, brace your abdominals. You can use your hands to close your knees gently here. And you can use your hands to push yourself back up into the seated position. So let's move the blocks aside. We're going to be going into a half saddle pose using the bolster. So we're going to turn the bolster so it aligns with our spine here. And from here, we're just going to open up the flesh of our glutes on both sides. And we're going to grab the right leg and bring it around while we extend the left leg in front of us here. So we're just going to sit up straight here. Big inhale, exhale, lower yourself down on the bolster. Take your time here using your hands for support until you can go all the way down and then fully relax on the bolster here. You should feel a nice stretch on the front of your right thigh. And that's what we're working on here with half saddle. So let's reconnect with our breath and fully relax here.
So slowly coming out of this position, bracing your abdominals, and you can use your elbows or hands to push yourself back up into the seated position very slowly. And then you can grab the right leg and roll on your left hip just to create space so that you can bring that right leg back in front of you. You might want to wiggle your legs here a little bit to loosen up and get the blood flowing properly again. Then we're going to open the flesh of our right glute. We're going to roll on the right glute and we're going to grab the left leg and bring it back into half saddle here. So sitting back up straight with the bolster line at the base of your back, big inhale and exhale. Lower yourself down using your hands for support as you slowly make full contact with the bolster. One side might be tighter than the other. In my case today, the left side is really tight, so I'm struggling a little bit here. But as you reconnect with your breath and you just patiently wait into stillness, the tension will dissipate and you'll feel much better. So let's slowly come out of this position on your own time here. Coming back to the seated position, rolling on the right hip and then creating space to bring that left leg in front of you. You can wiggle your legs again, getting the energy and blood flow going. And when you're ready, you can just place the bolster aside. We're just gonna swing our legs around and back, going onto all fours. Keeping your knees in line with your hips here, we're going to take one big inhale, exhale, walk your hands forward, lower your torso, bring your forehead to the ground. We are going into melting heart. This is really good for your upper back, your sh shoulder blades, your shoulders, and your spine. The goal here is to keep your hips aligned with your knees. As you relax and soften up into this natural curve that your spine will create in this position. So let's just keep breathing here deeply.
So walking our hands slowly back here as we raise our upper torso, going back into all fours for cat and cow. So here we're gonna just take one big inhale, looking up, drawing the belly button down, exhale, pull your belly button in, chin to chest, push through your shoulder blades round the spine. Big inhale, looking up, drawing the belly button down, exhale, chin to chest, round the spine. I do three more on your own time here. Last one here. And we can bring back our spine to neutral. So we're gonna take one big inhale, raising the left leg back. Exhale, swing it forward beside your left wrist. We're going into dragon pose here. Extending the right leg behind, untucking your toes. And then you can come all the way up, supporting yourself on that left knee with your forearms. We're going to be doing high dragon here, working on opening up the right hip flexor. So you can move forward and sinking your hips lower to stretch deeper into this position. Or if it's too much, just move your hips back a little bit and get out of the position slowly until you navigate that edge where you can hold stillness throughout this asana. So slowly coming out of this position here, moving your hips a little back, creating some space so that you can bring your left leg back and then your hands down into all four. We're going to take one big inhale, raising that right leg up and back. Exhale, swing it forward inside the right wrist. Extend that left leg back, untuck those toes, and then come up into a high dragon here. Again, move your hips forward. If you want to go deeper into the stretch in your hip, left hip flexor, or move them a little back if you want to soften up the stress that you feel on those connective tissues. So here we're going to move our hips back a little bit, placing our hands on the floor 
and then bringing the right leg around onto all fours. So from here, we're just gonna open up our knees, touching our big toes behind our back. We're just gonna bring our glutes in contact with our heels and lower ourselves down there, coming to the upright position, sitting on our heels, and then just taking one big inhale here. Big exhale. Another big inhale. And exhale, walk your hands forward, lower yourself down into wide knee child's pose. Let's just find stillness here and relax. So raising our upper torso here as we walk our hands back and push ourselves up, coming out slowly of this position. And we're just going to be closing our knees very gently here. And then we're going to turn around so that we can swing those legs forward in front of us and lower ourselves down into a savasana. So take some space on the floor here. Spread out your legs, spread out your arms. Fully let go of any last bit of tension within your body and mind. And just enjoy this quick morning class that's coming to an end shortly. So do take the time to do Savashna and don't skip it. It's very beneficial for you.
Thanks everyone for taking this quick morning yin yoga class with us today. We hope you feel wonderful after this short class. If you like classes like this to start your morning right, you can follow this one, that one, this one, or this one, and they will get you going and feeling wonderful about your day. So thanks again. If you like the channel, please subscribe to it. You can donate to my PayPal account, which is always much appreciated. And you can share the classes with friends and family members. Don't forget to hit the bell button, and this will give you a notification for next time for future classes. So bye, everyone. Have bye. a good day. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> oh.